hey, America's Most Wanted is back. You can watch it right here on Q13 Fox. And tonight, the season finale airs. But actually, a recent episode this season resulted in the arrest of two people charged in the death of a federal way woman during a boating excursion in Florida 10 years ago. This morning, I'm joined by Elizabeth Vargas from America's Most Wanted. Elizabeth, thank you so much for joining us. Good morning. It's great to be with you, Liz. All right, so we are specifically talking about the, uh, this federal way woman, Amy Rhodes, and, and her death. Tell us a little bit about what happened to her. Amy was in Key West uh, with all of her family, her husband, her young daughter, uh, her mother, and siblings, to basically have a year-long celebration of her father's life, who had died a year earlier. They were there to scatter his ashes. It was a family event, sort of marking you know, in a happy way, um, his life. And on the final day of their trip, they had gone scuba diving, which Amy's husband tells me was a lifelong dream of hers. They went on on a boat uh, that was owned by these two fugitives called the Get Wet. And the boat had failed numerous safety inspections. Um, and the owners of the boat had gone to great lengths to cover that up. Um, the captain of the boat quit because he knew the boat was unsafe. So they hired a 19 year old who had little experience to captain the boat. The boat sank and Amy drowned as a result of the boat sinking while they were out scuba diving. I mean, this is such a heartbreaking story and that has uh, really haunted this family here. So uh, Christopher Jones, we know, and Allison Gracie, they were on the run following Amy's death. So now they've been arrested. Can you tell us a little bit about this arrest? Gracie and Jones were arrested in Spain four days after our story aired. Um, this is after being on the run for nearly 10 years. Authorities think that, uh, they definitely were caught. Uh, it's not a coincidence. They were caught right after we featured them in, in a huge way on our show. A tip came in uh, to Spanish authorities and they arrested them. We're still getting details from Spain on exactly how the arrest happened, um, but they're in custody. Now, They this is the third time they've been arrested. They've been arrested twice before and both times were able to be released on bail and then fled. So hopefully Spanish authorities will keep them behind bars. Uh, here in the United States, the U.S. Marshals are thrilled with the arrest and are working on extradition papers as we speak. I mean, this, this is always great to see shows like this make these arrests in these cases, you know, these cases that, you know, have almost gone cold in, in, some, in some cases. So it sounds like the show has made other arrests after, or not made other arrests, but it, there have been other arrests made, I should say, after episodes of the show have aired. Yes, another tip called in from a previous episode resulted in the arrest of a fugitive. Um, that was just three days after our first show aired. So we've already got um, some results to show for um, being on the air for only four weeks so far. Wow. We're thrilled. Um, you know, I just, I have to tell you, I interviewed Amy's husband in the studio um, with me on the show. And, you know, his quest for justice, they have been through, first of all, a terrible tragedy. Mm -hmm. And then to twice think that they were finally going to get justice only to have Gracie and Jones evade um, justice by escaping. Um, the, the fact that we've been able to bring this family a little bit of resolution and a little bit of a sense of justice for the loss of, you know, his, his wife and their young daughter's mother is, is really an incredible thing. We're thrilled um, that these two have been arrested and may finally be, you know, returning back to the United States to face trial. Yeah, hopefully this is the time that they are arrested, they don't flee, and uh, congrats on that and, you know, doing something really important for that family. You know that means so much to them. Uh, Elizabeth, uh, congratulations on the show. We've got the finale happening tonight. We certainly appreciate you joining us. Uh, and you can catch the season finale of America's Most Wanted on Q13 Fox at 9 p.m. Thanks for being here. Thank you.